Hi, my name is Ning, Program Manager from Azure Compute, working on open source Java tools. And welcome to Microsoft Connect. Today, I'm going to run a Java application with Cloud Foundry on Azure. Cloud Foundry is an open source cloud native platform. It simplifies the, uh, uh, the infrastructure deployment so the developer can focus on coding. It's multi-cloud and make it very easy for scaling and uh, monitor your applications with great Spring integration. Cloud Foundry uses open source broker for service access. It simplifies the service provision and connection, works across multiple clouds platforms, and consistent between Cloud Foundry, Kubernetes, and OpenShift. What I'm going to do today is to see a push the Spring Music application, use OSPA to access Azure SQL. So let's get started. To prepare my application for Cloud Foundry, I need to install the CFCLI and prepare a manifest file for my application. Let's first take a look of the manifest. It tells Cloud Foundry runtime how to deploy my application. You can specify parameters like app names, memory, disk usage, and uh, the router information. Now I'm ready. I'm going to run CF push. CF push is the single command that combines all the steps from build to publish your application. It consists of three major steps. First, it will upload your file, pick a build pack, and wrap them into a package called Droplet. Second, it will select a container for this droplet. And finally, it will configure network to publish your application. The CF experience um, is consistent across all the cloud providers. You can always run CF push with additional parameters to customize your application deployment. Now um, it's ready to publish. Once it's done, I'm going to run CF apps to get more information about my application. Okay, let me run CF apps. Now I have an application called Spring Music. This is the how many instances I have, memory, disk usage, and most importantly, the URL about my application. So um, let me see if I can access my application online now. Great. So Spring Music application is currently running online. I can send this URL to all my customers. At the same time, I'm considering how my website can handle the load. Luckily, it's super easy to scale application in Cloud Foundry. You just run CF scale. And you specify your application name and how many instances you want to scale to. Within one second, I got three instances running. Let me just make sure. OK, so I have three instances here. Going back to my website, now I have multiple instances running. Um, I want to add a new feature. So when a new record is added, this, uh, this record is added to a cloud database. To do that, I need to uh, use the OSPA to connect to my databases. Let me first check CF Marketplace. Since I have just installed OSPA on my deployment, when I run CF Marketplace, it displays all the services that is available in my working space. Um, since I'm going to focus on Azure SQL, I will need to create a service instance for Azure SQL and bind my application to this instance. I have already done these steps 
So let me check to make sure the service instance is running. Yes, so um, a service instance called Spring SQL is created from Azure SQL, and my application Spring Music is already binded. Let me go back to my website and double check. So this is the service instance my application is using. And um, since my application is already binded, I can add a new record. And this time, it will be added to the database. Let's make it a rock sum. OK, so this record is saved. Now, I have an application uh, running in production with database in backend and uh, multiple instances. I really wanted to make sure it runs well, especially performance and reliability. I will use App Insights to monitor, which will give me the 360 degree view of, of my application. And then it's very easy to enable that. You don't need to change your code. You can either insert a script to your pipeline, or you can use uh, the Java build pack. I'm already done with these steps. So now, uh, if I log on to my Azure portal, this is what I get, a dashboard for my application. It display multiple information about my performance and reliability, including the usage, uh, the sections users, reliability, responsiveness, and the browser page load information. I even created um, an availability test that pings my website on a regular basis, and these are the um, result. You can also explore the additional functionalities, like smart detection, which provides the um, uh, rules you can define and detect the uh, uh, abnormal activities on your website and send you the alert. You can also access your website with the um, real-time information and connect to your website um, in real time. So uh, let's see if I sort and uh, sort the records with uh, different parameters and refresh my website, generate some traffic, and then going back. And then this website will display the incoming, outgoing activities um, with the overall health. In addition, it will show the status about all the three instances uh, that, that are running. So that's all for today's demo. In summary, using CF Push on Azure have greatly simplified the application deployment experience on the Azure. If you want to access more information, you can access additional resources on how to set up Cloud Foundry on Azure and running Java on Azure. Enjoy the rest of your time with Microsoft Connect. Thank you.